Three votes for Ted. So. Looks like Ted, who is who we're going with then? No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pretty Whoa. sure that you meant to say Ted. We would be correct about that. Actually, thank you for uh, helping me out. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards. Every one of them. Not you, Ted. No, not you, Ted. You because you're awesome. Are a stand up guy. You were a brave guy, yes, a take charge kind of guy. So I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you. Oh no, lighters. not the dark room. I'm going to send you to the room. <laughs> now, now, it's not the dark room. It's the room Some of dark. Oh, the room of dark. The zimmer yeah. of darkness. They're decidedly different things. Huh. Whoa. I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. Whoa, holy. Oh. oh. That sound looks more like they directed in Pamoid so to me, but. Your fear. Yeah, it Enter does. The room it absolutely of says Pamoid. And you can solve its mystery. Hooray! Can I just walk away? Oh, apparently not. Do, 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 do. Hmm, there's a giant arrow here. I wonder what that's for. The arrow's pointing toward the room of dark. Should I follow it or go the other way? Which is the worst of the two choices? Doop, doop, doop. Video screens. Can anybody in the stream chat Video confirm whether or not we locked ourselves out of the best ending with uh, Ellen's scenario just now? These video screens have palm prints switches next to them. Hmm. Blue castle, right out of the brunt. Let's get out of here. Thanks for the heads up, Anon. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, naturally. Oh go. That is a ridiculously <laughs> tiny castle. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. It's, it's like, like a freaking fi it's a freaking Fisher Price model. Come on! Yeah, it's a playhouse castle. Come Welcome on. to the room of castle. Come on, Am, get your game right. What's up? Objection! Those are not gargoyles. They are grotesques. There's a difference. Yes, there is very much. Gargoyle comes from the French word for throat because gargoyles are actually water spouts. Ah. So basically, if it has a open mouth with a water spout and is placed on the corner of a, of a roof or similar to facilitate the passing of water, then it's a gargoyle. If it does not pass water in any way, then it is a grotesque. I have learned something today. Wow, the stream is fun and ed educational. <laughs> there you go. So typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. Beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. At least we have castles, you American prick. Let's see here. So look at these tapestries. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor, but never Ellen. But that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. The character in the picture looks Caucasian, though.
Right, so anyway. Why, it's Ellen! Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Right. See, lies just uh, lying around there. All this perfume and jewelry must belong to Ellen. After all these years in Am's clutches, she deserves to enjoy life's finer things. Well, she's, since she's sleeping, let's leave her alone a bit. Wow, his walking animation, what the hell? Look at that swagger. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. <laughs> I like how his little inflection of the word there. Where uh, servants uh, do all the work. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. Grotesques. That's really gonna bother you, isn't it? <laughs> Not at all, actually. It is... I mean, everyone calls them gargoyles, so it's... It's fine. I mean, it's just if you're talking architecture or medieval art or something like that, you need to... Exactly, Alan. This is no gargoyle, youngster. No gargoyle. And then you drop a grotesque on their heads. I've read Not this even book. my own father hit me with grotesques. Who believes he's a knight. You know, he's too soft. The golden age of chivalry. <laughs> ah, Faust. Story? It's about a magician who mm. sells We need something funny. Read the divine comedy. How? Huh. This looks like a diary. Well, if you're in, that book probably would be pretty funny. Let's read another yeah. great book. Le Monte d'Arthur. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King that is a good book. the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. Lurcopter, yes, you know, you earned something like ten kudos points with that line alone. First passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her. Okay. The second passage reads, the incantations I hear from my voice. Hmm, this seems to be written in all caps. Purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. It's one of those old people, you know, that are unused to writing on a keyboard so they don't realize that caps lock is on. The third passage reads Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. What? Why? You... <laughs> Seriously, Ted, what the hell? <laughs> he reads the words, I must assemble a caravan, and that just makes him smirk like a... What is wrong with you? Has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. He takes the light in the small things in life. Smug Ted. Absolutely smug, Ted. The heck is even going? <laughs> oh, hey, I... he, he is so smug. I, I can't even. Slept in this bed for ages. Yeah, someone slept in there for ages. Yes. You know, this seems like a little bit of a cushier set of accommodations for Ted than the others had. Yeah. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. It was for my ears. It was so Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Please, hang on, Ellen. 
Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. Wow. That... Huh. Well then. I think the voice actor should use a, have, use a slightly different emotional inflection on the, that's, those sentences because that just sounded terrible. Oh, my father went weeks ago. He's not coming back. <laughs> Probably dead. Do you know if there's a way to Probably dead in some horrible, terrible way. No big deal. There's no escape for me. Death. No, I won't, I let, won't you let you die. Take the suffering and more death. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again. Oh god, are we going down the rape road again? Yes, we are. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. Damn it, Ellison. I thought you were cool. Ellison! <laughs> Where is your man? Smug face again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this really the right time to <laughs> look <laughs> smug when someone has just said, I literally want to die because life is horrifying? And I don't want to be raped again, so please kill me. Please tell me you found my mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Yes, your evil stepmother. My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She has Ooh, that's harsh, Helen. <laughs> What is even going on in this subplot? I'm thinking this is probably how uh, Disney Cinderella would have turned out if uh, Harlan Ellison directed it. Certainly seems that way. Alright, let's see. So we should be heading to the... Uh, which is the bedroom, the guide says. Oh no, locked doors. Where is that, I wonder? There's an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. Next week on Ghosts. Or oh, no, not. There is an evil in this room. Not, not an yeah, evil. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, it's not just wow. general evil, but it's a very specific evil. And wow, you managed to bleed that. Did you try to pick the glass up by putting your finger on the point and then pressing from the other end or something? Have you never in... What? Picking up glass at servant's work? M maybe Ted I suppose, is a, but... Maybe Ted is a hemophiliac, who knows? <laughs> then he should be more careful. <laughs> What do we have here, then? Nothing special about this one, except the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. Hey! It's not nice to call him ridiculous. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that... Ridiculous gargoyle faces, yeah, I know. Let's see. There's something off about Ted's face, and I can't put my finger on what it is. It's bolted to the wall. It might be that his hair is clearly not attach attached to his skull, but rather floating a bit above it's it. To the wall. That's definitely part of it. And also, just... in regards to perspective, he, his face is almost completely put on the left side of his skull. <laughs> I think that's what it is, actually. Yeah, yeah because it's... you can notice that his left eye is basically at the cu end of curvature of his face, which means that it's that someone has grabbed his face and just <laughs> moved an inch and a half to the left. I think that's exactly it, actually. Good eye. And his ear seems a bit off. 
Yeah, it's attached to the back of his skull. Yep. That's usually not how it's done. No. Maybe Am changed that. him around too, who knows. Excuse me, do you work here? Honestly, I was only bothered by that turtle Why making his. <laughs> it really is a fashion quote, cool isn't it? Is she just standing around plucking an unboiled chicken? What happened to Ellen? <laughs> I like that explanation, Lurk Captor. Ted is the mutant child from Benny's scenario all grown up. Oh. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. Beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. God, this accent. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nerve. Jesus, where have I heard this voice before? Covered with wolves. Yeah, we wouldn't want to see any ham come to my glorious face. <laughs> Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly one in charge of the castle? Well, I don't know. If you're talking about the maid, Please, I know. she's only credited for this game alone, and... Apparently, for some reason, the one who did the voice of Ted isn't even credited on IMDb. Weird. I guess he knew what he was getting himself into. Yeah. Sorry, but you're too low class for me to even take into consideration sexual relations with you. Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. For the record, if you have sex with her, you die. Yeah. I don't want to know how that happens. Pretty much exactly how you would expect. I am not going home. to make love with you. Oh, what? I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a new one. There's the problem. I'll have so to it's either it. sex or handiwork. So long since I've gotten dirt on All men are good for. Good, honest work. That and dying in wars. It's about time to save, actually, I think. I fixed your up. Now where is the mirror? Sorry. I don't know where a mirror is, but at least now I can finish dinner. Why you used me, you bitch? Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony. Why is there no slap option? Uh, oh well. I just really like the decor in here. Especially the birds on the top of the bedposts. Those are, uh... Yeah. Man, I don't want to... Yeah, I know that bird. I don't know where I wanted to go with that. I bet that there's actually... They're actually just some sort of joke bird, so when you lie in bed, just lotion starts dripping out of a hole in their butts and fall onto you while you sleep. That's what I would do. Demonic rituals must go That's what everyone will do. Your mind is a special place, Arthur. <laughs> it's called being inspired. Oh, that's an 
This place looks a bit, uh... Huh. Hmm. Why looks perfectly fine to me. This must be part of a black ritual. Let's walk on it. Use it. I don't know anything about magic. Oh, jeez. Freaking warrior classes. I don't know. If Ted were in some sort of Dungeons and Dragons like environment, he'd probably just be that one whiny kid from the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Wolves howl like that because they're hungry and because they like to torment their prey. No, I'm scared of wolves. Let's see. <laughs> Should we really block the door? I wonder. Is it more exciting this way? I think it's more exciting this way. Hmm. Right, so anyway. You seem to have explored a bit, so let's chat with the maid again. Please, I need Well you did fix the oven. Listen. Oh knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? You might try her bedroom. She's always studying her books. Doesn't go near the master's books, though. Never saw what those two That's because the master collected porn. I'm Don't bother me anymore. Oh, well, and I'm terribly sorry for offering to apologize. Screw you. She's hiding out anyway. Up here, maybe. Hello. Hmm. Actually, I checked the guide real quick, and I don't know. Do you have some sort of icon? I do indeed. Apparently you're supposed to use that on that broken door and then you're supposed to push that suit of armor there in order to block it. Mm -hmm. That fits almost perfectly. Oh, there we go. You know, the thing that always amazes me about these kinds of games is I wonder how long it would take you to actually do it. Oh dear! The aid of a walkthrough. Hello. It's the devil. Oh, that makes sense. Sure, why not? Must be something I'm missing here. Yeah, you gotta close the door and push the armor. Well thought out, apparently. They hate me for wanting her all to myself. But the thing is, we haven't found the old woman yet. Where is she hiding? This is 
a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. Oh, what do we have here? This is a catalog of the demons. Anon 2907 says the devil is not for decoration. The woman will let her presence know. Supposedly, he can open anything. Too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into no, no, the According to the guide, she is supposed to be in that one secret passage you were about how to metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I guess it's possible that she only shows up after you talk to the maid. I suspect we need to... Uh... Here's a picture of the circle Let's I saw in the here. secret room. Shut up, it. The says, complete the charm to summon the spirit. Dotai says you need to talk to the devil the first. Escape. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. Uh -oh. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Wow, did you just go out of your way to sound as freakishly, cartoonishly evil as possible, or... Where did they go? Is that a natural talent? Something I will say for this game is they managed to uh, create very, very different uh, atmospheres for each scenario. Yep. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Isn't that who you want to be, to Ellen? Her Prince Charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. And now we have many more times exposition. In the week. Or, well, I guess it's technically what plot. What ritual but... are you talking about? Yep. A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break keep it. Keep so me that from I can away. What I have really? Jeez. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds Yeah, no, no, that's power. the thing. According to IMDB, this script was written by circle. three different people, so you think at least one of them would have proofread this. I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Women, am I right? Jesus Christ. To kill you instead. Ho oh, ho! Do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Okay, okay, I was just kidding. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! I want to kill you instead. Ho oh, ho! Fine, I'll go talk to the devil, jeez. Don't want that to be mean. Uh, 
Ah, uh, oh, wait. First, need to close that door. Oh, that's just super. The door latches. Well, let's go to the devil. How does the? <laughs> um, that makes no sense. Oh well. So, hello there, devil. So, which approximation of the devil are you exactly? Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else oh, I yeah, right. You're just a devil. devil. <laughs> Sorry. Silly me. What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? There are not many Sorry, Ellen's soul from where I am from. Material. Things. They only bring about bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like that is some demons. dark red text. You got for that the right. Devil. Mm -hmm. In fact, the only things we consider worse. Than I kind of like how his voice actor decided to. And let like the like he's trying to sell Ted a used car or something. Yeah, it's a nice choice. Yourself, stooped to fighting like school children. Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here, or used to do them before Am. You saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, what is the devil's sprite well, doing in those of uh, animations? Now. He's kind of having a little bit of a spaz attack. So, Am is literally the Lord of Hell, too. <laughs> sure, why not? Go for it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Petty conflicts for power. Only in this case. The struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances... Now I will say, this devil is rather helpful. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. And we wouldn't want that, now would we, kids? Nope. Jeez. Alright. I just noticed something. Am I crazy or is Ted wearing an ascot? <laughs> oh. Right, let's see here. We have mastered the secret. Well, luckily I'm up on my Shakespeare and I wouldn't have noticed this before. Well, Ted is apparently still a slave to fashion. Alright kids, memorize this phrase. Latu Rata Nectern? I said it. I said the words. Yeah. Walk, damn it. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! You can seriously go Kala Ingma Krako. Oh, really? Kala Ingma Thako. Huh. If I knew, if I had ever known that magic was this simple. S seriously. Now we have shock. Wonderful. 
And since we are geniuses... Smug face reaching painful <laughs> levels. Yeah, we're reaching critical smug here. I am Surgat, opener of locks. Oh god, if this goes on, we have a smug singularity. <laughs> yes, exactly. Are you saying that you a smug singularity? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. Tap him, please. I've said this before, but I do not want anyone to buy me new avatars. I am very fond of the one I have. The most painful thing, though, is that for a long time of my life, I had exactly this sort of hair, because that's how my hair grows. Oh dear. What kind of locks can you yeah. I I I'm sorry, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, I, bas I basically have to go with a, go with a 7-3 part, because... My hair grows from the middle right side of my head, you more or less. I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Alright, how about some blood? That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Yeah, it is done. Why do I get the feeling that this was like a popsicle to the demon? <laughs> I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? I like this guy. She's gone. Hmm. This must be the servants' quarters. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. That's a rather interesting painting. The devil's. Oh, the scullery maid was right. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. I know what to do. Get the glass from the demon and put it into the mirror. And hope that the spit does not get in its way. And of course an angel. Why not? I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good, someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Fear me? I am an agent of the Lord. Which one? And which particular tradition? What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in the sphere. Incalculable power. What can you tell me about the devil? 
Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Yeah, you know, he usually pranks people that when you they've gone to the bathroom in public, he uses his lock opening powers on all the stalls. So that the next group of people that come in think that all the stalls are free and he has to open the doors. You have no idea how embarrassing that is for everyone involved. That's so fiendish. It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. You said that 4,000 years ago. between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. Critical smog achieved. Let's see, where's the... There, there's the door. Right there, I got... Smog singularity imminent. Ellen! Smugularity approaching. I found your ma- Then show it to me. But before that... There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years. And now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just remember. Oh my god. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. I should mention for those that don't know the original story that Ellen is literally basically a sex object for the rest of the group. Show it to me. Well, you know, she is the only woman around, so... And if I remember correctly with the original story, one of the things that Harlan Ellison decided to put in there was She's that Ellen liked God. Benny the best because he had the biggest so dog, basically. There, boy. You are so absolutely mine, right. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. Wait, Dota, did we, did we screw it up badly enough that we can't get the good ending now, or what's the deal? Well, according to the guides, we should still be able to get the good ending. Okay, good. Well, according to Dota, we screwed it up too badly. What, what did we do exactly? However you use it, the choice must be yours. Why I am gorgeous. Why I could just plunge right into myself. Ellen is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm oh. circle. Okay. What the hell? We got it right. <laughs> We're good. How does that make sense? Don't underestimate the wolf. Who keeps closing this? <laughs> The gnomes, Arthur. The gnomes keep closing. Sup, bro? Uh, would you gnomes mind, uh... Sir I hope the holding power of this circle lasts. I should hold on to this. You're as good as your word. The maid's bedroom was unlocked. Would I lie? I'm a demon after all. Now, fulfill your end of the bargain and let me out of here. 
I already gave you something. Some drops of my blood. You call that a fair exchange? That supposedly blue blood of yours is as worthless as the counterfeit bill. You must work out another trade, one where the stakes are high. Can you open a gate? Now that's a tall order. And the only thing you've got is a little love. Not exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people. Oh, yes. Say, love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. Ellen's dead. You fool! Now you have to find some... Give that mirror to me, human. My hands aren't exactly made for handling delicate objects. And it would be disastrous to break such a powerful device. Jeez, fine. Jeez. Don't give great blood or anything, jerk. What did I get trapped with this demon? Smug Max. Yeah. Level 99 Smug reached. Oh Achievement God. unlocked. Smack singularity. Here we go, folks. Damn stupid human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. I don't know. Imagine what it would be like to see that as the last thing you see before you die. Now that is true horror. I am responsible for our suffering. Not just am. He's clever. But he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. <laughs> research that one That face really is the best. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say, Holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Shh. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. And we've broken the fourth wall. Open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oath bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise. Just the surface world. Enough of this turgid... If we wanted to reach more smug, no we would just leave the circle closed anyway. Even though we promised to open it. Oh, too bad. Did he just... He just blew a raspberry at me, didn't he? Oh, whatever, you guys. I wanted to believe it was for small breaking. Whatever, it's cool. I know what you're saying. You're the last player in my little game. I urge you, do not fail, as the others have failed. Poor Nimdok's just standing around all on his own. <laughs> yeah, Nim Nimdok's gotta be really bored by now. Everyone else just left. 